Hello and welcome everyone. Uh, this is the third webinar in this webinar series. Today I will be focusing on 3D imaging and light sheet microscopy for large and complex samples. My name is Guruchandar Arul Mulivarman. I am a global product manager for the ultra microscope light sheet system at Milton e Biotech. Before diving into the topic of 3D imaging, let's try to understand why 2D microscopy is not enough for your samples. When we section a sample and image, the image fails to accurately represent the true structure. Let's look at this illustration showing on the slide, which shows the blood vessels in a cross section. On the left, we have a 2D image that provides a very minimal information, while on the right, we have the preferred 3D image that accurately reveals the actual blood vessels. Even if you are achieving flawless sectioning and imaging in 2D, the artifacts frequently hampers the reconstruction of clear individual images. Here is a concrete example that shows the disparity between 2D and 3D images. On the right side, you can clearly observe more intricate details of the blood vessels within the adult mouse brain hemisphere after 3D imaging in comparison to the 2D imaging displayed on the left side panel. In typical 2D imaging technique, the process involves sectioning a sample and staining the section and image them using, for example, confocal microscopy. There are some advantages in 2D imaging techniques, such as the ability to image opaque tissues without need for tissue clearing, and also the availability of well-established and standard 2D imaging methods. But there are significant limitations and disadvantages in uh, 2D imaging methods. By relying only on 2D imaging, a substantial amount of valuable information is lost. For example, sacrificing crucial information related to the sample structural complexity, depth, and spatial architecture. Now imagine a scenario where large and complex samples can be effectively cleared and imaged, which allows for a comprehensive and detailed understanding without sacrificing vital information. Let's briefly talk about tissue clearing method. Tissue clearing is a set of methods used to achieve transparency in large biological samples while maintaining the spatial context. It enhances the ability to visualize and study the samples in its entirety. One of its key benefits of tissue clearing is a significant increase in light transmission, which enables better imaging of large 3D samples. On the video here on the right, you can see a mouse brine hemisphere can be cleared over six hours. While talking about the imaging techniques, to determine the most suitable imaging approach, we need to assess the capabilities of different microscopy and imaging techniques. It is crucial to consider the size range of the sample we wish to image and match them with the proper imaging techniques. For example, single molecule imaging, the nanometer resolution is very important. To image an entire organism, the resolution range should be in the millimeter or high micrometer scale. This is where the tissue clearing and light sheet microscopy come into play as they bridge the gap between various imaging techniques, which allows for a large scale imaging at the cellular or even subcellular resolution. Now let's compare the light sheet microscope with the confocal microscope. The basic principle of a confocal microscope involves use of a pinhole to eliminate out of focus light resulting in a better optical sectioning and improved resolution. It captures the image by scanning a focused laser beam across the sample and detecting the emitted fluorescence. But the high intensity laser used in the confocal microscopy can cause photo bleaching and phototoxicity. In contrast, light sheet microscope operates based on the principle of illuminating a thin sheet of light perpendicular to the imaging axis. This thin sheet of light selectively excites a single plane within the sample while the camera captures the emitted fluorescence. By illuminating single plane at a time, the light sheet microscope significantly reduces the photo damage and photo bleaching, making it ideal for imaging thick and very delicate samples. Here is an example where you can see the imaging capabilities of each method when, up, when applied to the large samples. On the left side, we can observe a series of image captured by confocal microscope shows both a cleared and uncleared samples. 
Notably, as we venture deeper into the sample, the non-cleared sample becomes very challenging to image while the resolution gradually weakening to nothing in the cleared sample. In contrast, when we image a cleared sample using a light sheet system, we can capture all the in intricate details without significant loss of information. This remarkable example showing the exceptional strength and, ad and advantages of the light sheet instrument. In our light sheet microscopy portfolio at Milton Biotech, uh, we have three instruments, the Ultra Microscope 2 Zoom Body and the Ultra Microscope 2 Super Plan and the Ultra Microscope Blaze. These advanced systems are carefully designed to meet the specific needs of capturing high-resolution 3D images of large and small biological samples. However, today I will be specifically highlighting the ultra microscope blaze due to time constraints. In the ultra microscope blaze, the process of generating a 3D image involves eliminating optically cleared samples from the side while capturing the signal using an objective above as illustrated in the left panel. Within the imaging chamber, as shown in the center panel, a thin sheet of light is used to eliminate a fluorescently stained and cleared sample. To construct a complete 3D image as depicted in the right panel, the sample is gradually moved through a sheet of light. By capturing a series of images at a different depths, a Z-stack is obtained, then the images are processed and rendered into a comprehensive 3D representation of your data. The ultra microscope blaze is truly pushing the boundaries of light sheet microscopy. One of the remarkable aspects of the instrument is its complete automation, which facilitates the effortless imaging session with minimal manual intervention. More importantly, the blaze truly stands out in the field because of its optimized optics. In ultra microscope blaze, we offer two chambers. One is standard chamber and another one is XXL chamber. XXL chamber offers 51% more space compared to the standard chamber and maximum imaging range is mentioned in the slide here. In the displayed images here, you can witness the versatility of our system. You can image either a single or multiple samples or even imaging of an entire mouse is possible. Also, we provide a large number of sample holder options which you can choose according to your sample size. The process of loading and imaging cleared samples is briefly demonstrated here, which shows the seamless nature of ultra microscope blaze. Five different mouse organs are loaded in this particular example uh, mouse brain, lung, kidney, heart, and mouse paw. So, as I mentioned before, basically load multiple samples, set up the measurement, and press start. Then you can generate multiple data sets in one run. In terms of full automation, our system offers several features to enhance the efficiency. Firstly, in addition to the batch measurement, the entire detection unit can be moved, allowing for seamless transition between imaging sessions. As you can see in the second video here, the objectives are automatically exchanged and the sample can be released automatically. To ensure consistent focus, even after objective lenses or sample exchanges, we have integrated an, integrated an autofocus feature. All these advancements contribute to a user-friendly experience and reduced hands-on time. As I mentioned a couple of slides before, the optimized Excitation optics are one of the key features of the ultra microscope blaze. In the system design, the light sheet optics at the bottom produces six thin light sheets with three coming from each side. The concept of using six light sheets is based on the understanding that a single static light sheet can produce stripes and shadows, as you can see it on the left panel because a sample will never be 100% transparent. By introducing two more light sheets on the same side, the stripes and the shadow effect is minimized, which you can see it on the center panel. 
but the optimal illumination can be achieved by eliminating the sample from the both directions which produces the shadow free images and also reduces the presence of stripes the data quality could be even more improved by moving the light sheets horizontally from one side of the field of view to the other side the ultra microscope provides a unique solution known as dynamic horizontal focus this feature involves scanning the thinnest region of the light sheet rapidly across your samples. As a result, a sequential series of high resolution images are captured across the desired field of view. The software then automatically stitches these images together and creating a single high quality image. This process can be repeated for each stack, which allows for the generation of high quality 3D data. The excellent Z resolution of the stack can be achieved by the unique sheet elimination of the ultra microscope. As you can see in this 3D rendering, even after going deeper into the tissues, you can still see the finest structures. In the previous slides, I have covered the fundamental principles and benefits of the ultra microscope for 3D imaging. I also mentioned about the technical details of ultra microscope. Rather going deeper into the technical details, I would like to shift my focus to its key applications. Our ultra microscope has been widely adopted for various research fields. I believe it is also worth mentioning that the ultra microscope has been featured in over 800 publications to date, with the number growing steadily in recent years. One exceptional example comes from Gubra, where our ultra microscope enables the imaging of dopaminergic neurons in mouse brain. This work holds significant rele relevance as dopaminergic neurons are also affected in humans with Parkinson's disease. This 3D imaging allows for the identification of individual neurons, facilitates cell counting and detailed analysis. In this particular example, you can see the loss of dopaminergic neurons in a mouse model of Parkinson's disease, providing valuable insights into the disease progression and even potential treatment strategies. Similarly, the brain organoid can also be imaged using the ultra microscope and detailed analysis can be done. Here you can see the human brain organoid is stained with our antibodies and cleared with our max tissue clearing kit and also imaged with ultra microscope with 3d imaging brain organoids can be studied in detail from various angles and depths and this enables detailed analysis and characterization of cellular structures and interactions within specific regions of interest Here is another example from cancer research. Tumors were excised from the tumor xenograph model. The ultra microscope was used to visualize the penetration of CAR T cells into the tumor tissues. Here you can see the vasculature in green and the CAR T cells in blue. The acquired image provides a valuable insights into the tissue distribution in the distribution and penetration of CAR T cells within the tumor. This work was done by our Miltonese R&D team. They performed computational analysis to precisely measure the distribution and penetration of CAR T cells in the excised tumors. This remarkable example from Dr. Ali's lab highlights the incredible capabilities of 3D imaging and the ultra microscope. Here you can see the visualization of cancer metastasis at the cellular level in a whole transparent mice. The tumors are depicted in magenta and the selected organs are marked in blue here. And his lab conducted this research using ultra microscope and a deep learning based method known as deep MACT. This combination aided a complete analysis of micrometastasis down to the level of individual cells. And this study showing the power of 3D imaging in finding complex details of cancer metastasis and expanding our understanding of the disease.
Here is another compelling final example of 3D image obtained using the ultra microscope. Once again, the image was generated in the Dr. Ali Etuk's lab. Here, the rendered image tag effectively produces the captivating 3D visualization. To highlight different structures, fluorescent antibodies were used to stain the bones in green, muscles in violet, and nerves in teal color. All these perfect examples showing what one can achieve using the light sheet microscope, particularly the ultra microscope blaze. I am in the end of my presentation. Uh, for further information, please visit our Miltonese webpage to learn more about the ultra microscope light sheet system and 3D antibodies portfolio and the Max tissue clearing kit. On the website, you can also find options for requesting demos, quotations, and also further information about our other imaging products, such as Maxima Spatial Biology Platform. With that, I would like to thank all the participants here. Thank you.